Was the movie Alien vs. Predator right? Is there really an ancient pyramid on Antarctica? Because if that's the case, that would mean it's millions of years older than Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which is considered to be the oldest man-made structure in the entire world. But for the past decade, people have been claiming that there is a pyramid on Antarctica. H.P. Lovecraft wrote about an Antarctic civilization back in 1936. He had been fascinated with the continent from a very young age. But up until 1928, Antarctica was an unexplored region, which human feet had never walked upon. That changed when Richard E. Byrd had made its first exploration campaign from 1928 until 1930. Lovecraft mentioned the explorer many times in his letters. At one point, he spoke about the geologists in the bird expedition having found many fossils indicating a tropical past. This was his inspiration in writing the story at the Mountains of Madness. The story was about a geologist named William Dyer that had led a group of scholars on a previous expedition to Antarctica, during which they discovered ancient ruins and a dangerous secret beyond a range of mountains higher than the Himalayas. Seventy years later, the movie Alien vs. Predator was released in cinemas in August 2004 and had a satellite detecting a heat bloom on the island of Buvitoya, a thousand miles off of the Antarctic coast. Wealthy industrialist Charles Bishop Wayland discovers a buried pyramid 2,000 feet deep beneath the ice through thermal imaging. They send a team of experts down there to investigate. And if you've seen the movie, you know how the story goes. If you haven't seen the movie, go check it out, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Somehow, I think the idea of a pyramid in Antarctica got stuck in people's minds. About a decade ago, around 2010, a story came out about an expedition on Antarctica in which they had found pyramids. After the Aliens movie and H.P. Lovecraft stories and the many many other stories that were told, people really stuck on this new discovery. But there were some problems. No names of any of the eight explorers who were supposedly on this expedition were ever given. The only proof they offered were photographs taken during this supposed expedition. While the photos do show mountains with seemingly smooth edges partially covered in snow, the smooth edges and sides are most likely the results of two things, natural erosion and the proximity of the photographer from the mountain when the shot was taken. That hasn't stopped people from searching. And over the past decade, stories have popped up of people doing just that. In March 2016, Vicente Fuentes, a paranormal investigator who writes for UFOtopia.com, posted an image of a supposed pyramid. He shared the coordinates and made the claim that Google Earth captured the evidence of a pyramid on Antarctica near the Sentinel Range of the Ellsworth Mountains. He placed the Google Earth image side by side with the Great Pyramid of Giza. I'll put the coordinates in the screen below and I'll make sure that they'll be in the description down below. This is believed by many to be the best evidence to date. The claim is that it's impossible for mountains and peaks to be nearly perfect in symmetry. But scientists don't agree with that. Scientists call pyramidal shaped mountains nunataks, which are exposed rocky mountain peaks and ridges which are naturally occurring and pyramid-like in shape. Eric Rignot, a professor of Earth System Science at the University of California, Irvine, told Life Science in an email that this is just a mountain, looking like a pyramid, as pyramid shapes are not impossible to have been formed. Many peaks partially look like pyramids, although mostly they have two faces like that, rarely four. And the mountain isn't that tall by planetary standards, just 4150 feet, not even one-fifth of the height of Denali, the tallest mountain in North America. Mari Pelzo, a professor of environmental science at the Nichols College of Massachusetts said, freeze-thaw erosion likely led to its pyramid-like shape. This happens when snow or water fills up cracks within a mountain during the day. When night falls and temperatures drop, the snow freezes and turns into ice. 
the expanding ice causes the cracks to grow. This freeze-thaw erosion happens countless times, leading to the creation of larger cracks that can eventually cause entire rock sections to break off. These forces likely also shaped other pyramidal mountains, including the Matterhorn in the Alps, he said. Three of the mountain's four sides appear to have been eroded at about the same rate. It suggests that since it came out so evenly, that the rock type is fairly uniform. You don't have rock layers between that are harder to erode. In other words, the then nameless mountain is most likely all from one rock layer, Pelto said. And since it's not that big of a mountain, it's not that surprising. The erosion on the east side probably wasn't as uniform as the other ridges. Instead of descending downwards, it extends, rising to even higher terrain. Pelto added that although some news outlets are saying that the mountain or pyramid is newly discovered, that's very unlikely to be the case. There's a research base for climate scientists to the south of the mountain, in an area known as the Patriot Hills. You can most likely see this mountain from up there in the Patriot Hills, he said. As for the conspiracy theorists who are wondering about the mountain's pyramidal shape, he said, at least they're thinking about something. In the end, maybe they'll learn something in the process. But what if the scientists are wrong? They haven't done a real exploration or investigation at the site. Until they can provide evidence that this pyramid is just an actual mountain, there's still some truth to this theory. If the Antarctic pyramid was built by humans or giants or aliens, how old would it at least be? To answer that question, we have to look into the history of Antarctica. Antarctica wasn't always cold, dry and covered in ice. It used to have a temperate or even tropical climate, covered in lush forests with various life forms inhabiting the land. By the start of the Devonian period 419 million years ago, the sand and silt were laid down in what is now known as the Ellsworth Mountains. Antarctica had been warming up and cooling down a couple of times until the Australia-New Guinea plateau separated from Antarctica about 40 million years ago. The first ice of the ice sheets we see today started to form. Around 23 million years ago, the Drake Passage opened up between Antarctica and South America. The Drake Passage is the body of water that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. This event resulted in the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, also known as the West Wind Drift, that isolated the Antarctic continent from the rest of the world. The ice started to replace forests, spreading all over the continent until about 15 million years ago the continent was completely covered in ice. This means that if the pyramid is a made structure, it's at least 15 million years older than the Djoser Pyramid in Egypt, which is 4,670 years old. If you'd like to see more about the oldest pyramid in Egypt, the land of the pyramids, and maybe learn a thing or two, check out that video in the end card. What strikes me as most weird about this entire theory is the fact that both Google Earth and Google Maps have dubbed this location Pyramid in South Pole. If it's untrue, why call it that way? Or are they hiding the truth? Was there really an ancient civilization on Antarctica 23 million years ago that built this pyramid? And if so, what else are they hiding? <laughs>